Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> Um, on with a quick vlog because uh, I went on vacation for a week and got back and things were just super busy. A lot happened while I was away that I had to attend to when I got back, but uh, that seems to be a-okay. Finally have a chance to come on and do a video. The whole place down here is a wreck because I still got the whole corner backed out because I think we're going to put a second sump in. And so this whole place is a if you could only see it, it's not looking good over there. So I want to come on and say uh, I got a few things to cooking. New guitar. A couple people have seen it, but most people haven't. I think I, we'll, we'll tease that one. We'll make that one a surprise. <laughs> um, uh, Rob Chapman is doing a USA tour. I'm going to be at the Boston one, which is at Mosley's on the Charles, which is friggin' awesome. Because, uh, geez, that place has been around forever. And it's on the historic Charles River, right? <laughs> and uh, that's, I think, on the 12th, which is a Tuesday, um, from 4 to 8. So uh, I will be at that at some point between 4 and 8. And um, what else? I think someone mentioned, uh, they noticed in one of my other videos, I think my top 10 albums video, I was playing an RG760. Got a video about that coming up. Oh, just a fun fact about Mosley's on the Charles. Um, that's, that, that's in Dedham. Uh, they have two little tidbits about that town. Uh, one, it's one of the oldest towns in the United States. Um, it's got the oldest frame house still standing in the U.S., 1636, which is total pilgrim era. And um, it has the oldest man-made waterway that we, that the white man recorded. We don't know about before that. I mean, let's, let's, let's get real. We're not talking pre-invasion. Uh, 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 again, probably around pilgrim times. I don't know exactly when it went up, but they wanted to connect the Charles River to the Neponset River. So they made the Mother Brook. And uh, there's a mall over a, a section of it now. <laughs> like, that would never go on today. But I think the mall was put in in like the 50s or the 60s and they were like, pave right over it. <laughs> so they just made a tunnel <laughs> and the brook runs underneath the tunnel, runs underneath the, the parking lot, <laughs> right next to an Uno's. <laughs> uh, so anyway... And it's cool because if you went, and not that anyone's going to do it, but if you went down there, you would see these cool factories like along that. They call it a brook, but it's really a canal, right? It's man-made waterway. And uh, uh, they split it off, right? So you'll get to this old factory, way old. Like, um, I think it was a, an envelope factory for the longest time. And uh, they would split the water would go, there'd be the main river, and then they would split it off, and they had a series of dams to allow the water flow to go under, underneath the building, like through the middle of it. Pretty cool. And then there was more down cotton mills uh, further down, or wool, wool mills, I think. I forget. But they had big, giant, you know, um, uh, like racks of... Uh, like fleck or something, you know, it was almost like um, steel wool, but it wasn't, I mean, um, fiberglass, but it wasn't, it was, it was cloth, and that, 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 those burned down many times, who wasn't lighting those on fire when I was a kid, God, those factories, they were constantly in flames, and uh, <clears throat> so if you're, if you do go to Dedham, you may want to go, I think that, um, that Fairbanks house, which is the oldest fra uh, frame house in the United States, I think that's on the corner of uh, Eastern Ave and East Street. So if you want to see it, they do a tour, but I don't recommend it. The ceilings in there are super short because people back then were really short. Uh, just didn't have the nutrition. 
So it's it's a terrible tour. But if you just want to see a way old house, I mean, that's about as old as it gets. And in these parts, you know, if you, of course, if you're from Europe or any pretty much anywhere else in the world, you have a lot older structures. But that's as old as it gets for the U.S. Um, what else is coming up? I think I you, I mentioned that RG760. Um, that uh, guitar was a super awesome buy. I got a really good story about that one, and um, it's it's actually got a, a a killer old vintage Duncan pickup in it, and uh, we'll talk about that as well. So that'll be coming up soon. Uh, I just got to get back in the swing of things. I, I got to get this, and my bro's coming over. He's coming over like tomorrow, so I'll probably see a video with him next week. And Steve Marchain is coming back over. So we'll be seeing a video from him real soon. Uh, what else? Um, talk with the guys from Panama. I still have the Panama Shaman right here. But I think they're going to send me up the little 5 watt. Um, is it the Conqueror? Jeez, I forget now. I'm terrible with that. Um, but it's like a 5 watt hand wired uh, amp. Like a way old, like vintage, you know, tweed or champ style, you know, just crank and go so that'll be fun to check out right i'll have to really crank that up and we'll get the sm57 and see how it sounds and the last thing i want to talk about is uh, i'm probably going to do a live event soon because who isn't doing live events you know everyone's doing everyone's doing it i'll do it too um what i want to do is be able to get the guitar to go through at the same time if i can um so that might be a little tricky. And then, uh, obviously, I can't use this camera uh, because it doesn't have, like, a feed out that I could use, I don't think. Um, I think what I what I need to do is uh, I set up... I have a, an HD webcam and just set that up and set uh, my audio through my mixer and then out into a line in on the computer and then just tell, you know, whatever software I'm using... I'm assuming it's Google Hangouts or something built right into YouTube. I, I got to do a little bit of you know testing on it first, but I should be able to just merge this mixer signal, which is this microphone, and the, the guitar signal. And we should be able to get that to go out together and in there, and I can just tell whatever the software is is look here, look to this line in is your audio source, and that should do it. But again, we need to I need to test it out a little bit. I'll give that a whirl, but uh, anyway, that's it. I was way on vacation, got back, and geez, everything was on fire. <laughs> you know, people at the office were like, if you're coming in this week, I could really need to see you. <laughs> All right. And then uh, I, I called up on a, a few other things, and I also switched phone services, and, I, and <laughs> like right before I left in my business, and right before I left, um, uh, you know, they, I, I had set to port the number like a week earlier and they're like oh it's not gonna happen until this day and we were leaving for like orlando that day so ported in the morning and i just you know i had to do a little bit of setup to just to make sure it was working and there was going to be a a voicemail answering you know when they called so i had to like set up a greeting real quick you know i had about like 15 minutes to go hey it's me leave a message <laughs> so anyway Back, getting back to normal little by little. New guitar. And the Ibanez. That's two new ones. That's two. And uh, I get the stripper for the... Um, the um, paint stripper for the um, uh, bones, the skull and bones. I'm going to get started on that soon. I'll, I'll record all of that. That's going to be a fun project. I can't wait to do it. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Um, I'm really looking forward to the Chapman event. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn how to play before that. I'm so out of practice, you know. But I couldn't take a guitar with me. It's such a hassle to bring uh, instruments on planes. They want you to like buy an extra seat if you can't get it in the overhead, and I, you know, I, I'm not dealing with that. So. I, I didn't play for like over a week. And then when I got back, there was really no time to play either. So, you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. I'll have to brush up before uh, the event. Uh, just in case I'm called upon 
to go, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. So Mosley's on the Charles in Dedham on the 12th of May between 4 and 8. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going. So if you're going to go, I'll see you there. All right, dudes. As always, rock on.